Jesus, our great high priest, he maketh intercession for us. He is the eternal sacrifice. And this is why our prayer need to go to that third level that we can do as the high priest did, where they would meet one on one with God. We need to meet one on one with God. And the way we do that is through in depth prayer. And why is that so important? Because of sin. Because we born into sin. Because we are still carrying around this carnal body, this fleshly nature, this sinful nature. Sin is, is lurking at our door 24 seven. And the only thing that can give us perfect liberty in the spirit is when we get to that place of one on one with the Lord, where deep calleth unto deep, where we not only are talking to the Lord, not only fellowshipping with the Lord, but we are also communing with the Lord and that our cup will be filled to overflowing our bodies that is and as it filled to overflowing and we have gotten all that we can get out of that that prayer time that day we leave out of our prayer room with our cup not only filled but overflowing we become one with him and so therefore, as we come out of that prayer closet, wherever it might be, it could be a real closet, it could be your living room, it could be your bedroom, it could be your church, wherever that you find that place where you reach out to the Lord and you go beyond the gate and then the first veil and the second veil, and you let allow God to fill your spirit with his presence and you walk out of there. Wherever you may go, he will go with you. And he will, his presence will be with you. Anybody that you may meet that day, they will acknowledge his presence. Not because you are so anointed, not because you are God, but because you and God at that point is inseparable. And this is important because, again, this is the closest we can get. To total liberty and we need to establish this on a daily basis and on an everyday daily basis we need not to cut it short pray with a few words say amen and move on we need to continue to press toward the mark that we might obtain the prize of the high call of Jesus Christ so I'm going to Stop right here, pause right here, and uh, open the floor for comments first and or requests. Uh, but it's not uh, um, um, daily. Uh, that we just did, and I really enjoyed that. But it's not getting into that secret place and not communing with Him is so important to us. So, uh, God bless you. Amen. It's my pleasure. Praise God. Hallelujah. I feel the body needs this. Uh, as we talked about prophecy, we need prophecy, yeah. But the Bible said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it. If you don't fill yourself with the presence of God through prayer, your mouth ain't going to speak. Or if it speaks, it's not going to be God's voice. It's going to be your voice. And so prayer is absolute, even in respect to prophecy or prophesying because when we prophesy we say thus says the Lord and uh, and we need his voice to be there to speak but we need to go more in depth uh, in the importance of prayer so anybody else have a uh, question or comment good afternoon Praise the Lord. How you doing, Sister Susan? Uh, 
I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. That's all I can say is I enjoyed the word. I really did. And all these three steps, I'm going to start focusing on them steps. I couldn't get them all down, but what I've got, that's what I'm going to focus on. And I really enjoyed it. And I want to say thank you for inviting me the first time. Amen. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Anybody else? Uh, this is Sister Maddie. How you doing, I'm Sister Maddie? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you well. Doing good. How are you? Fine. Yes. Yeah. Awesome, awesome message. I got the last, maybe the last uh, 15 to 20 minutes of the message. Amen. And I'm telling you, God, God just put like confirmation to what he dealt with me this, this particular week, started Monday. And then to get this message tonight, mm. in regards to the first, second, and third realms of the spirit, mm -mm -mm. I know God was putting it confirmation on it all tonight. Amen. But as I mentioned, there are three levels of prayer. There are three levels of prayer. It's before the fall, Adam was welcome in the presence of God. After the fall, he's hiding from the presence. So he lost fellowship. He lost communion. And he lost the presence of God. The presence of God is restored through prayer. 